Based on the, you know, where we're placing the screen along with the current social distancing requirements, um, where we believe we're somewhere between a vicinity of, you know, 210 and 240. Um, you know, as the summer goes along, if, you know, the, the regulations from the Commonwealth do change, we can certainly alter it, you know, both, you know, in, in either direction uh, as, as the Commonwealth dictates. But at, with the current, uh, you know, requirements that have been set, uh, you know, in, in the low 200s, uh, we're more than adequate for the area that we've designated. Okay. I'll pass some of these uh, further questions to my colleagues. Mr. Rowland. Um, <clears throat> Just a couple questions. Are these movies, um, are these first run movies or are they uh, family favorites? What kind of films are you planning to show? Um, it's it's a combination of both the, in the beginning, uh, you know, there are no new release movies uh, coming out at this point. I don't think the earliest that uh, Hollywood's even talking about is till late July. So most of them uh, will be reruns, you know, if it's Goonies or maybe there's a Shark Week with the different Jaws movies. Um, you know, th those type of things. So in the beginning, it will definitely be, uh, you know, reruns essentially. Okay. And um, I understand from the answer, some of the questions we, we put out in, in advance, I mean, we talked about the security and the security personnel that work during the fair. Um, in addition to the orderly traffic and the regular security and the, and the look for illegal alcohol, um, you know, how, how do you plan to ensure social distancing during, during this time? Um, it's going to be, in my mind, it's going to be imperative that people follow the rules and don't congregate that they, you know, when they're out of the car, they wear masks and, and there's not a lot in, in here that addresses that. Is, can, can you talk a little bit about how you would plan to enforce that? Certainly. Yeah. Yes. All, all vendors that, uh, you know, that, I mean, all customers that come to the uh, event when outside of their car, if they're going, you know, to utilize restrooms or the concession stands must be masked. All of those areas will have social distancing queuing, um, you know, as, as per state regulation. Also, when they're in their car, when they go to watch the movies and they're at their car, they need to be at their car or in the immediate vicinity of their car. They're not allowed to spread out, um, walk around, uh, you know, kind of, you know, they can't take up, uh, you know, leisure space that, you know, part of the reason why um, there's less cars allowed than what normal protocols would be is just for that reason, to give every car additional space that they can set up chairs that are immediately adjacent to their car. And then there's plenty of distance to the next vehicle in any direction. And who would be responsible for maintaining this and making sure that this is happening, enforcement? That's the staff that will be walking around to make sure that uh, you know, all the requirements are being met. Okay. Um, what is the what is the cost to the to the public for this? Uh, the cost is twenty five dollars per car. There's now we're going to heavily push to do online sales, um, just you know, be to be contactless, um, and I believe the majority of sales, and if not all, would be that way. Um, so, you know, depending on the service that's selected, there might be a service fee on that end, but uh, we're charging $25 per car. Would people be allowed to bring their own food and refreshments or would they have to purchase them from you? Uh, they would purchase them on site uh, just to be able to better maintain what's coming onto the grounds. Um, a, a zero policy is the best way to ensure that nothing else uh, comes on. Okay. That's all I have. Mr. Keller. Yeah. When would you have? When do you plan on having your start date? Uh, looking around the 18th of June, which would be Father's Day weekend, um, and starting on the weekends. And would you only be on weekends or during the week? Uh, right now, we're we're just looking at weekends. Uh, you know, we are looking that you know if if demand certainly uh, you know, as we get into summer, if the demand calls for extra days, we would look to add them. Uh, but at this time, we're, uh, we're we're weekends at this stage. And when would it end? Uh, right now, uh, just looking to go through the Halloween time frame. Uh, so we we put down a, an eleven one. Obviously, you know, it's subject to uh, the popularity. 
you know, whether or not, you know, movie theaters open back up towards uh, the latter part of the, the summer with the phases um, and also, you know, what is there for movie content. And how many movies do you plan on showing per evening? Uh, one. That's all I have for right now. I just want to, to follow up on a couple of his questions. Um, you said weekends. Do you just mean Fridays and Saturdays or Sundays as well? Uh, Sundays, Friday, Saturday, Sundays. And then again, um, I missed what you said for your start date. Your uh, anticipated start date. The, the 18th Father's Day weekend. June 18th to 11 one. Um, I don't think I have anything further. I know that uh, Chief Tavares is on the line here. Chief, do you have any concerns about this? If you want to chime in. While no, we have I, you? I, thank you. I read their plan and um, I spoke with Lenny and I've worked with Lenny for 30 years and uh, I have no concerns with it. Yeah. So, um, Chris and Joe, what, here's what I, I'm thinking about uh, doing is that I'm, I'm to, in a minute to make a motion to, I mean, I, I happen to like the idea, and particularly because the noise is contained to the vehicle, so I don't think we're going to have any noise problem. We'll find out, but my thought is to approve it from, from this year only uh, for now, from June 18th to 11-1, um, with an end time that I'd like to, I think I'd like to specify an end time. What do you two think about that? Yeah, I think we need to have an end time and then um, certainly a time that when people vacate. I would mm -hmm. agree. I mean, I know that it's, you know, it gets dark late and some movies run a little longer. So, uh, Mr. Dean, what did you, what were you thinking? You said 11. I mean, yeah. Is that uh, going to be good for you? I, I would say if we, just not knowing, you know, the, the exact movie, we're not going to uh, certainly we're not showing a three hour long movie. Uh, you know, the Titanic won't be on or anything like that. Um, yeah, but, the wolves. yeah, but I, I would say, you know, just, you know, knowing that right now in, in, in the end of June and through most of July, the start time is closer to nine o'clock uh, with the sun going down. So if we could if we could make the um, time for 1130, but obviously all our time would be based for that 11 to 1115 mark. Um, would, would be and then in August as as you know, we can go earlier our intent is to go earlier to be you know For that same reason uh, we're, we're strictly just going to work with the earliest that we can show the screens And uh, Joe or Chris are you okay with that time frame? I mean and, and then again with a limitation of one movie per night Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. I Just had one question in, in this motion. We're just making sure this is just for this year. It's not permanent I'm specifying the time frame for this year, and then if they want to submit some further application next year, they can do that, and we'll address it then. I mean, my main concern is that you're doing this, one, because of all the lost revenue, and two, I think it's a good uh, a way to get people outside with appropriate social distancing, and, you know, I like the idea. Give you some, give you, give you some, give you some, give you some.